Monkeypox is primarily spread through sexual contact. Stanford researchers are taking note of a case of a man who contracted monkeypox without any kind of sexual exposure, raising a question, question about transmissibility. KPX 5's Max Darrow joins us in the newsroom to explain. Max. Infectious disease experts say this particular case is an example of a rare situation. It's not a sound the alarm kind of moment. However, it is a reminder that monkeypox doesn't only spread through intimate contact, but through skin to skin contact as well. A group of infectious disease experts at Stanford documented a recent monkeypox case and the circumstances were different than most cases. In a research letter published in the CDC's Emerging Infectious Diseases Journal, they detailed a patient, a man in his 20s, sought care at the hospital for a rash about two weeks after a trip to the United Kingdom. He was diagnosed with monkeypox, but unlike the vast majority of monkeypox patients, the man reported no sexual contact or any known contact with a person who had the virus. His primary risk factor, according to researchers, he'd attended a large crowded outdoor event at which he had close contact with others, including close dancing for a few hours. But they haven't been able to determine how the man contracted it. You can get it even without sex. So it's rare, but it can happen. Dr. Monica Gandhi, an infectious disease expert at UCSF, believes this instance is an anomaly. This seemed to be a one-off case. She says the vast majority of cases appear to spread among men who have sex with men. So for people who don't fall in high-risk groups, her takeaway from this case is... This was a very rare event. Try not to worry. Yes, lightning can strike, but hopefully it will not happen to you. However, monkeypox does spread through non-sexual contact as well. It's skin-to-skin -skin contact, so anyone who comes into contact with the lesion potentially is at risk for contracting it. According to the CDC, there are more than 13,500 confirmed cases nationwide, the most of them in New York and in California. Gandhi says the ongoing vaccine rollout should help contain the outbreak. You've seen in Quebec and the UK, where they got the vaccine out faster, cases are already coming down. It should happen in the United States as long as we can get the vaccine out faster. For now, the vaccine is not recommended for everyone, only for those who've been exposed or at high risk to be exposed. Based on all the best evidence and data we have, it's only those specific groups that are at least at high risk right now that we're recommending the vaccine. So if you are interested in getting a vaccine, Contra Costa County residents can now schedule appointments for these vaccines online. There are clinics in Richmond and in Concord. People in the South Bay can schedule appointments online as well. We look tonight. There are slots that are open tomorrow and throughout the weekend. And here in San Francisco, the walk-in clinic at Zuckerberg SF General is open tomorrow from 8 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. Ryan.